What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the SS channel. Thank you for tuning in to another video today. Today guys, I'm going to be doing five things I hate about my 5th gen Camaro. Now this is a 2014 Camaro SS. I've had this car for about two years now. I'm going to list off five things I hate about this car and honestly it's not much. It was kind of hard to make this list because I love this car but uh, these are just some five things that annoy me about this car. Now number one on this list is a big problem with a lot of the 5th gen Camaros is the Brembo brakes. Um, the brakes themselves have no problem at all. They're actually really good brakes. They stop really good, but these cars have a lot of problems with squeaking and a lot of brake dust. Let me show what I'm talking about. Now these brakes are very good brakes. They're really good, but they do kick up a lot, a lot of brake dust. I can never keep my wheels clean. I cleaned my wheels yesterday, literally, and look at all this brake dust already. Look at that. So literally my wheels can't even stay clean for a day. It's probably not a problem if you don't have black wheels I mean, you know, it's not as noticeable, but uh The brake dust is a big problem with these cars and I hate that about this car Now I do know there is other brake pads out there that say that they won't kick up as much brake dust and all that stuff and I have tried those brake pads in the past and honestly they don't work I haven't noticed a difference. They still dust all the time and kick up a lot of dust so. now number two on my list on um, five things I hate is actually inside the car and it is the shifter let me show you guys what I'm talking about let me close the door real quick so this car shuts up so yeah the second thing I hate about this car is the shifter now I know you can fix this problem with you know a short shifter or you know an MGW short shifter or a Barton short shifter which I will probably be getting but the stock shifter in these cars is very long it feels like you're going into gear forever the shifter in these cars I don't know I just don't like the feel especially in first gear it feels like it just kind of slides in it doesn't really lock in place and the throws are just so long that it feels like I take 10 million years in between shifts just to go to the next year 2000 years later and I know this isn't, you know, that much of a big issue because you could just get a short shifter for a couple hundred bucks and fix this problem and be banging gears no problem. But uh, that's just one of the things I hate about this car. Now the third thing on my list that I hate about this car is, I'm sure you guys all know about the 5th Gen Camaro, is the blind spots. The visibility out of this car is honestly terrible. You can't see shit. As you can see, you know, this windshield is very, very, very small. It's like a tank in here. You can't see too much out of the windshield. And there's a lot of bad blind spots. If you look over to your left, see is this big pillar right here. You literally have to look out the window to look over and see if you're safe to get over. Especially it doesn't help with 5% window tint, but uh, you can't see anything out of this car, honestly. Windows are very small, it feels like you're in a tank in here. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's not that cool because you can't see anything, honestly, and it's just bad for blind spots. Now number four on my list is the window visor. This visor, you know, it's supposed to protect you from the sun. Say you're going home after work in the evening and the sun's glaring right in your face and you try to go put down the visor to block the sun, it honestly does nothing at all. I mean, look at this guys. Honestly, this does nothing at all. It literally blocks like this much of the windshield. I mean, this visor is so small. It literally does nothing. I mean, look how big that is. It's literally the size of my hand and it honestly does not block any type of sun whatsoever. Now the fifth and final thing I hate about this car is the gas tank. The gas tank on this car, for some reason, I don't know if it's because the gas neck is angled up so high going upwards um, on this car, but every time you go to a gas station, you literally have to hold the gas pump in the tank for it to stay, otherwise it just pops right back out. It literally never stays, so I almost every time have to stand at the pump the whole time I'm filling up my car. Now honestly, this one is probably the most annoying problem I hate about this car is that the gas tank, whenever you go to fill up gas, the gas pump literally does not stay in the gas tank. You literally have to stand there and hold it in. Let me see if I can show you guys. 
because it's angled up so high and it's facing upwards why it doesn't want to stay in but honestly that is the most annoying thing I hate about this car is I have to stand at the pump the whole time while I'm filling up my car now I honestly do need to go to the gas station anyways to fill up so let me head there right now and let me show you guys what I'm talking about <laughs> All right guys, I just got to the gas station, so let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So yeah, honestly, go to put your gas in. I know my car is filthy right now, I need to wash it, but this is what I'm talking about right here, look. Put your gas tank in, shoots right out. You can't keep it an automatic because it just pops right out. Every time, it pops right out. So every time, you know, you're just trying to fill up, put it in automatic mode, go in the store, sit back in your car you can't because it literally won't stay in it pops out every single time sometimes it will stay in if you really shove it in there and get it to stay like that then it'll stay but otherwise it just pops right back out but yeah guys I'm gonna wrap it up here at the gas station just wanted to make a quick little video today thank you guys for so much for watching there will be more content coming. I will be going to some runs on Saturday and a sideshow on Sunday. So look forward to those videos. I'll catch you guys next time on the SS channel. I'm out.